desert, unchanged for millions of years, yet witness to a biblical prophecy come true that one day the meek shall inherit the earth.
In the year of our Lord, 1149, when the king returned from the Holy Land, he knighted six great warriors who had carried him to victory over the infidels. The king granted power, wealth and vast dominions to each of the heroes. When the knights departed from the king's palace, five rode to their new lands, but you, a Saxon, turned your horse toward Sherwood Forest. There was a time when Japan was governed by a ruling aristocracy. This ruling class was supported by warriors called Samurai, who had crushed any opposition to its power. Now it was a time of peace and prosperity. In return for the Samurai's loyalty, the aristocracy or imperial family gave them important government positions or some territory to rule and for a time they were content. But at last the samurai warriors became discontented with this passive existence and the years of peace Japan had enjoyed came to an end. In April 1156, the Emperor Toba, who reigned over the country with enormous power, died. So began the era known as Hogen, the two sons of Toba, Emperor Sutoku and Emperor Goshidakawa, both wanted to take Toba's place as ruler. Vigorously opposed to each other, they went to war. This war became known as the Battle of Hogen. Goshidakawa defeated Sutoku, but realized he could not keep his position and power without the support of the samurai. He awarded Taira no Kiyomori, samurai leader of the Heike clan, with the title Lord of Harima. This brought the Heike to the most powerful samurai clan under his control. But the samurai leader of the Genji clan, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, was furious about this appointment by the emperor. Because it was he, Yoshitomo, who had stopped Sutoku's main army and taken the castle by storm, not Kiyomori. For three years, Yoshitomo's hatred for Kiyomori grew. Then, in 1159, he joined forces with Fujiwara Nobuyori, and the Genjis went to war against the Heikis. But Yoshitomo and his allies suffered a crushing defeat. Another powerful samurai leader celebrated for his valor, Minamoto no Yorimasa, had allied his forces with the Heikis, so they retained their hold on power. This was the Battle of Heiji, the beginning of a long feud between the Genjis and the Heikis. After this battle, Fujiwara Nobuyori, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, and Yoshihira were beheaded and other members of the Genji clan were exiled to remote places. As a result, the power of the Genji clan declined drastically. Among those exiled was Yoshitomo's son, Yoritomo. Although he was only 12 years old, he 
Kiyomori had also fought in the battle. Meanwhile, Kiyomori, leader of the Heikis, strengthened his relationship with the Imperial family by making his daughter marry the Emperor, Takakura. With this marriage, Kiyomori solidified his power and influence. But the Emperor Goshirakawa was not pleased. He was concerned that Kiyomori and the Heikis were becoming too powerful. Buzz. They build cities, wage wars, take slaves to work their underground farms. Some can even fly thousands of feet into the sky and travel across vast oceans. But they never kill for sport. That is solely the domain of Homo sapiens. Hey, Doc, my old man hunts jackrabbits. I don't think he's a Homo sapien. <laughs> No, I, I don't believe he is, Buzz. But enough of that. Let me show you my latest endeavor. I've rigged up a high-powered television camera on the roof. From here, I can see everything from the highway to Barbecue Pass. Let's see what the good citizens of Lovelock are up to today. <laughs> One of the locals, Buzz. I see he's out shooting jackrabbits with his big shotgun again. For fun. Ah, there's what I'm after. The wreck on the highway. A bad sign, very bad. That's the atomic waste truck that cracked up last night, isn't it? It was no accident. Its deadly cargo had vanished by the time the sheriff arrived. That can only mean one thing, Buzz. I want you to get out to Borax and... <laughs> Reactivate my sensor grid. Your old radiation sensor grid? You haven't used that since the A-bomb test. And why borax? That old ghost town gives me...
In the year 1192, when King Richard the Lionhearted was returning to England from the Crusades, he was captured by his enemy, Leopold of Austria. Richard's brother, Prince John, is not willing to help, but four great knights have stepped forward to try to free the king. Wilfrid of Ivanhoe, one of England's best in the tournaments. Cedric of Rotherwood, a leader of men and a skilled negotiator. Geoffrey Longsword, whose swordsmanship is legendary. And Wolfric the Wild, a great leader in the battlefield. Which of these should be chosen as Richard's champion?